Hey guys, here we are for a short track guide in the Toyota GR86 at the Tsukuba Circuit. For this track guide, I'm going to show you the hot lap first, and then I'm going to play the lap on slow motion and show my approach to each corner. For this track guide, we're using the fixed setup, and we're also using a track temp of 107 degrees, air temp of 78 degrees, and a track usage of 35%. Now let's get on to the lap. Now let's check out the lap in slow motion. So as we're starting the lap here, just getting a wide approach out of the final corner. That way we can get a nice uh, fast start to the lap, using up all the track on exit, or in the exit out of the final corner, all the astroturf, coming to the line and shifting up to fourth gear. Now as we're approaching the first corner, looking at the left hand side of the track, and using this like little asphalt brake as a reference, we're going to be braking about like two or so car lengths after that. There's also like a little dirt patch in the grass you can use as a reference, so we're braking like about a car length after that dirt patch, or like two car lengths after this asphalt bit. And it's uh, about 80% brake pressure initially, trying to straight line, not the apex initially, but at least a bit closer to the apex, trailing off the third gear and then second gear. If you have too narrow of a line, you might enable the traction control, which will uh, slow you down. So trying to get a wide arc into this corner, partial throttle at apex, then getting back to full throttle once uh, the rear end's stable, using up all the track on exit. So as we exit out of the first corner, approaching these S's here, should be able to take them flat. And now this next hairpin we're approaching, you want to actually be cautious because the inside line is so banked that it can really incel the rear. So we're going to try to stay as far right as possible for as long as possible, using the end of this curbing as a brake marker, keeping it up to third gear, around 90% brake pressure down to second. And you can see that we're going to be turning into the apex quite late here just to avoid uh, the rear getting unsettled. Down to first at apex, partial throttle initially, then getting back to full, unwinding the wheel and using up all the track and exit there. Now as we approach uh, this uh, 90 degree right hander, you want to try to get as little of the curb as possible because you can see partial throttle, just a tap of the brakes on entry right there, and then partial throttle modulating. And you can see once again the, the curbing, just the small trash control getting enabled. So just trying to minimize that time loss. If you can avoid the curbing, that might even be preferable. Again, going through here flat, and this is right on the verge of shifting up to fourth or keeping in third, really up to your choice there, breaking just before the screen bit on the left side ends. Around 90% brake pressure, getting down to second quite early, once again trying to avoid the inside initially just because a lot of curbing there or a lot of banking there. And uh, once you get to the apex, uh, downshifting the first gear, really wanting that front to bite. And once that front finally uh, is able to bite, you get that grip, get back to full power, and you don't even need to use up all the track on exit here. Just trying to cut down at the uh, apex point, and we'll just watch this uh, a little bit faster speed through here. So again, middle of the track, downshift to first, waiting for the car to cut, getting back to full power, and you can kind of uh, shorten up the exit through here. So up to second gear, now going down this back straight, approaching the final corner. And the main key here is not to apex too early if you do run wide on exit. So again, small tap of the brakes, around 20%. And we're trying to run like half a car length or one car length away from the curbing initially, um, just to uh, maintain that speed. And then uh, getting back to partial throttle and trying to apex just about the end of this red and white curb. You can tap it a bit and then starting to unwind the wheel using up all the astroturf on exit. And that's a lap around Tsukuba Circuit. So that was a 102.735, and once again, here are the things that were used. Hopefully that track guide was helpful. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed.